Hey, hi, everybody. I have Dr. Narissa Bauer with me today. Hi, Narissa. Hi. How are you? I'm great. I'm so glad to be here with you, Mary. Well, I'm honored to share the time. So you do some interesting things. So I would love to hear about your expertise, your coaching that you're doing with, like, tell me, parents and pediatricians and all kinds of things. Yeah, no, thanks for the opportunity. So uh, I'm a behavioral pediatrician by training, okay. and I get, often get a lot of questions like, well, what is that? Yeah, and what is that? Right. yeah, well, I tell parents that I'm a pediatrician. I went through the, you know, the standard training that you do. But then That's after right. I finished my residency, I went on and did a specific uh, clinical year with my mentor, Dr. Marty Stein at uh, University of California, San Diego. And at the time that I was doing it, it was, he was actually sitting for the new boards, Developmental okay. Behavioral Pediatrics. Uh, so he was getting grandfathered in and, and all of that. So, um, but, but specifically uh, what that means is I tend to work more closely now with families who have kids who learn and behave differently, might have some unique challenges at home and school. So what that boils down to are kids with ADHD, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, anxiety, depression, school problems, and then overall parenting issues. Wow. Well, as a, as a mom of four, I'm sure I could have used you throughout the years. <laughs> My youngest is in high school, so we've made it this far without that, but I'm sure that would have been helpful. So I'm, I'm so thrilled to hear that subspecialty that just, just sounds like a treasure, you know, it for parents needed. that are <laughs> trying to figure things out. Yeah, yeah, that's neat. And you have a YouTube channel, right? So if people want to kind of learn some things, tell us about that. Yeah, so I launched a YouTube channel where I have a lot of informational videos. Um, there's a series called Quick Chats with Dr. Bauer, um, where I provide um, some just short segments on things like uh, how to talk to kids about anxiety, what to do after an ADHD diagnosis. Don't forget that kids with ADHD are just normal kids. Uh, just a lot of fun topics like that. And then nice. I also host a weekly Facebook live show that I started in January uh, during the pandemic because uh, two things. One, my mission was to break down the stigma around behavioral health issues. I wanted people to gather and talk about it so that we can normalize it, but also get that information out there to families, educators, and providers. So yeah. uh, since January, I've invited a bunch of different folks onto my show. We talk about anything from yoga and mindfulness in kids, art therapy, executive functioning in kids. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to be talking about resiliency in kids. So it's it. uh, hypnosis. So just a lot of fun topics that I think um, folks need to know about. Uh, and then selfishly, I'm an extrovert and I needed to have some connection. <laughs> so I wanted to sort of catch up with people and, you know, just showcase all the wonderful work that everybody's doing in the mission of sort of just serving families who need this help. I love that. And what a year it's been for families, right? Especially oh my with, goodness. With, with school, you know, school age kids, like just unbelievable, right? Yes. People... Especially kids with, uh, who learn differently, who need those supports, who have yeah. IEPs, 504s. And then when they're learning remotely, how does that look? And yeah, it's just it's... been really hard for a lot of kids. I feel like a lot of parents and kids should just have a badge that they made it through. Oh, <laughs> They've made yes. it this far yes. and just celebrate the end of the school year because it's just been such a year for teachers and I'm sure pediatricians and parents and, and parents. And I actually saw like something on social media, somebody posted, which I reposted because it was so great. You know, um, it said something like teachers, don't forget that at the end of the school year, when you're celebrating all the recognition and the high honor roll kids and all the neurotypical kids, don't forget to just reach out to every other kid who struggled and had to climb Mount Everest to just finish. And this I thought- year. That that's yeah. absolutely right. We have to celebrate yeah. everybody getting to the finish line. Just being here and getting through the school is just a huge accomplishment for so yeah. many people, I would say, huh? Yeah, well, that's neat. I'm glad that you guide families and kids through this and um, 
that sounds incredibly important. I could have used you so many times. Over the years. <laughs> <laughs> and unfortunately, there's not enough of us. But again, I think that's why my weekly Facebook live show highlights just different ways to get that help, you, you know, sort of thinking outside the box, right? Like, sure. usually people are like, oh, I have to get therapy for my child. But the wait lists, unfortunately, are so long right now, because yeah. everybody is has been stressed. And we've lived through and we're living through, obviously, yeah. the pandemic. Uh, and we're going to be dealing with the negative effects for a long time. However, you know, there are other alternative ways like Taekwondo, martial arts, art therapy, I mean, hypnosis. So I, you know, there's so many different ways to get um, that needed boost for self-esteem, work through some of those issues. So again, that's why I love doing that show and, just, and just highlighting that. Just opening doors to different possibilities. Yep. Yeah, new yep. possibilities. Well, that's the great thing about coaching, I think, is it just helps people, you know, just open, maybe see, you know, it's the same child there, but just new perspective of, of um, some ways to make their days more fun or like you said, so that they feel powerful we love it. Yeah, that's wonderful. So, um, we will link in the show notes about how folks can follow you and your Facebook, um, you know, group your lives and your YouTube channel, so that if they want to watch and learn, you provide all those opportunities, huh? Yes, and and yes. I hope that they will follow, subscribe, and again, if you catch an episode and you're like, you know, some so and so would really benefit, please share because again, I yeah. think it, it just is helpful to just spread the information. Yeah. And that's the beautiful thing. A lot of parents, you know, kind of share like those kind of resources. So that, yeah. that is such a nice thing. So if you, now that you're learning about Dr. Bauer's expertise, you can, you know, watch her videos and share um, at any level. Right. So I hear a lot of, you know, as in my patients, I hear like grandparents who are worried about their grandkids, you know, parents worried about their kids, teachers worried about the, you know, there's so many yes. people concerned about the kids. So um you know, I just, I, I love these resources. So thank you for all that you do. Yeah. And I guess I'll put in one more plug. I also yes, do a parenting, please. I do a parenting book club because I, before oh. COVID, I used to run in-person parent workshops, right? Oh, um, okay. But because of COVID, I couldn't do that anymore safely with social distancing. Yeah. And I, I pivoted um, in August of 2020 and started yeah. pulling books off my bookshelf nice. and then just yeah. telling folks, Hey, I'm going to read this. Anybody want to read along? And then I would post, you know, in my Facebook group, some prompts and then, you know, start a conversation about it. And nice. it's sort of evolved over the months, but now the past several, like the three past three or four books that we've read, I've actually um, done Facebook lives with the authors. So they're kind of like book club chats. Wow, that's super cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and so the readers who get to read and then they get to ask questions of the author, it's been a lot of fun. So again, that, oh. that's another resource that uh, if yeah. you come and follow my blog Facebook page, Let's Talk Kids Health, it's out there for anybody. Let's Talk Kids Health. Yeah. Okay. Oh my yeah. gosh, that's super <laughs> cool. I love when you get the authors and you get the Oh yes, too. it's yeah. so fun. That's neat. Well, thank you for all you're doing and have a wonderful day. Thank you. You too. Mm -hmm.